Welcome to Linda's Creative Coiling. Today I'm going to show how to finish a basket. I'm going to use the tapered finish method. And the reason I use this is because when I started my basket, I started with the taper. Here's my beginning right here. And I started with just a skinny little coil and then gradually built up to a thicker coil. So when I end, I want to gradually taper down at the same spot, at my beginning spot, I need to gradually taper down. That will even out the sides of my basket so that it is level across. To do this, I start planning my finish um, a good way before the end. So my, I wanna end right over here, so I start measuring and try and get my pine needles out to, out to length. You can see right here there, just about out to length. Then I want to keep my coil fairly full until I get out into here a little bit. So I've gone through my pine needles and picked out some shorter ones, picked out some shorter ones to use for this finish. Here's kind of a thick one. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. I'm gonna put that in. This um, finishing, really, I can't rush it. I have to take my time. Um, finishing is one of the most difficult parts to get it to really look good. All right, so I'm going to start stitching. I have my gauge fairly full. I twist this gauge to smooth out the coil. I turn it over and take my stitch in on the left and out on the right using a four ply waxed linen thread. This is black. I like the waxed linen. It is kind of a nice delicate look and um, pretty colors. So I'm going to just keep stitching here for a few minutes. I'm going to add a short one. Some of you I know use short needles so finishing ought to be a little easier these long needles i don't want to have to break off too many okay i'm getting very close here very close to my end i don't want it to taper too soon so i'm going to add another one if i can find a short one keep in mind where my end is that's probably pretty good. You can see my coil is getting thinner and my gauge is loose. I can probably just go ahead and take that off, which I will do. Um, now when I get some like these out here that are a little longer, what I wanna do is trim them off from the center inside out. So trim those a little bit. Trim a couple of those little longer ones in the middle of the coil. You don't want to end with a little bitty round, little bitty round coil on top. So I'm gonna start flattening that coil out, flattening it out. I need to trim a few more of these. Trim a few more out of the center. The longer ones, trim them out of the center. and keep flattening my coil, all right? That'll make this a smooth finish. I'm flattening that down, here's my end. So I'm pretty good. I've got just a few needles here and I'm just about at the end. Doesn't matter if I go over a couple extra stitches from my start, but I wanna be as close to where I started as I can be when I end. Okay, I'm just about there. I'm gonna do one more stitch and see where I am. But I, another thing I wanna do is go a little bit deeper into my coil on these last stitches. Go a little bit deeper. Keep flattening that. I think I'm gonna take one more stitch. A lot of this is just 
kind of looking at it and judging it. Okay, that's my last stitch. So now you can see I have just a few little ends here and I can just break those off. I can just break those off and there's my finish. So I'm finishing this basket and I took my last stitch. At this point, I need, I have a couple options on how to finish the basket and get rid of my thread. The first option is just to bury my thread. What I would do would, and this is the option that I usually use, I would just go across that thread and come in on the back, come out on the back somewhere, somewhere across a bunch of threads. Pull that through, pull it taut and snip it off. The second option to finish my basket is to do a back stitch row. Um, I'm doing this on this basket because I had this back stitch look down here on my Carlson combo stitch. So I'm gonna do the back stitch on this one to finish it off. How I do this is I turn my basket over and I go down to the next row. So I pull my thread across and I go in the center of that stitch, right exactly where that thread came out. And I come out on the front, right exactly in the center of that stitch. Let's see if I can get it up in there. Oh, over here. Up right in that hole, the same hole where the thread came out. and make my V. I'll do it again, I go across, I go in exactly in that same hole where that stitch was. I come out on the front, on the front exactly in the same hole, right there, pull it out. Do another one, come in, go into that same hole Come out on the front in the same hole. And there you can see my, my back stitch is developing and it kind of makes a nice finish for your basket. So I'm gonna do that on this basket. When I get to the very end of this part, I will just bury my thread and trim it off. I wanna use my cloth and this is just a little piece of denim i want to use my cloth and scrub it off scrub it real good back and forth to get rid of all those extra little pine needle ends break those off and then i will go um i will use a hair dryer i don't add extra wax to my baskets or any kind of other finish i have already over waxed my thread so that's a waxy enough finish, but if I use my hair dryer and blow it just a little bit and rub it, it will melt that wax in and it will get real shiny and pretty. And this basket will last for a long, long time. So that's how I finish a basket. I hope that helps you and that you'll come back to Linda's Creative Coiling and see me again soon. Thanks. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to subscribe to Linda's Creative Coiling, just click the subscribe button and ring the bell, and then you'll be notified next time I post a video. See you soon.